Welcome back to Star Wars Timeline, my name is Ben and I'm continuing my playthrough of Knights of the Old Republic. This is my very first playthrough in 17 years. Okay, I just completed Dantooine, right? And the Jedi Order has sent me on a mission to try to find the star maps leading to the Star Forge, right? Something that the Marlock and Darth Revan were after, this uh, uh, equipment, this secret weapon. But this is what I'm trying to do, right? I just got into the Millennium Falcon. This is what I call Ebon Hawk in my game. And what I want to do is talk to all the party members before I move on uh, with my adventure. Uh, for those of you who are watching for the first times, uh, during the conversations or story cinematics, I don't talk. So you guys get to enjoy the story with me. And I play casually. You know, I'm playing a good Paragon uh, uh, Jedi. I try to make all the good decisions. And I try to get the most out of the game in terms of like lore and side missions and stuff like that. Let's jump into it. We have... Kandaris right in front of us. Let's talk to him first. Yeah, what do you want? I was wondering if you had any more war stories. I was one of the best youth warriors in the clan Ordo in my time. No one before me had mastered the power of our basilisk war droids as quickly as I had. Except Mandalore himself, of course. In those days, we were sweeping across the Outer Rim, destroying all who fought us. Young Mandalores would prove themselves in real combat with unknown opponents above a thousand worlds. Each brought back stories of his achievements. What was your story? I remember it well, orbiting high above a placid world, its defenses just stirring. As was tradition, I would go ahead of the first wave to find enemies in the thickest fighting. I remember sitting there in my armor, linked directly with a basilisk thrumming beneath me. My heart racing with fear of the coming battle. I didn't think Mandalorians got afraid. Every new warrior has to fear to understand how to beat it. You must know that. The doors opened in front of me, and the air was sucked out of the drop bay, scattering crystals of frozen vapor across my path. I can't describe what it feels like to look directly down at a world, falling continuously as you circle it with barely 15 centimeters of armor plate protecting you. When the magnetic locks disengaged on my droid, I plunged out of the drop bay towards the battle that waited below. You dropped from orbit riding a droid? The exhilaration, the euphoria I felt as I streaked into the atmosphere, dodging self-guided projectiles and beam weapons was unmatched. An 80 kilometer plunge through the atmosphere, dodging and weaving, the outside of my armor glowing like the sun with the heat of re-entry. And with barely 30 meters to spare, I twisted and skimmed the surface, firing at the giant beam generators that were in my path. The explosion from that sent shock waves that leveled the entire complex around it. It was the moment of my life. Well, that's what Mandos live for. I want a basilisk to droid. I'll never forget those times. But things are different now. We can't go on fighting the way we did. There are too few of us left now. But I really don't want to talk about this anymore. I trust I've satisfied your curiosity for now. Is there something else you want to know? Nothing more for now. Your choice. I'm here if you want something done right. Guys, and here you have it. That's Kandaris, right? A hard-ass Mandalorian as, as, as sharp as they come. Is awesome. Let's talk to Mission. Hey there. What can I do for you? I want to talk about your brother. Don't worry. I won't let the search for Griff get in the way of what we're doing. Let's just get back to the task at hand. Is there anything else I can help you with? Okay, so she doesn't want to talk. Nothing for right now. Okay, have it your way. I'm probably not going to bother with Pazak game in this plate, or I just want to focus on the story. I don't know why. That's one mini game that I wasn't too crazy about, to be honest with you. All right. I do remember something happening here in this particular room. That kind of jolts my memory a little bit. What's over here? Oh man, guys! <laughs> wow. So this is like the bunk, right, where most of the crew sleeps. I definitely recall this because in part two. One of the really interesting scenes with Cray is going to take place here, but let's not get away, get ahead of ourselves. I don't think T1 
three has much to say, but let's try him. And there you have it. That's all you get with him. You don't talk much, do you? Just came in to see if you have any advice. That's cute. <laughs> That's advice. I don't know what exactly what that meant. Big Z. Is there something you want? Oh, I want you to make me a grenade. Oh, shoot. He's gonna make me a grenade. That's nice. That's a cool freebie. Nice. I wonder if you could help me with a problem. Nah, he's not willing to help us. Okay. Maybe later. And you guys may have noticed that my characters look much sharper than your vanilla game, right? You look the uh, Wookie Zalbar, right? His The texture is replaced. That's because I'm playing a modded version of this game. It's very much in line with lore, right? There's a Pretty much the community mods that I put in here that add cut, original cut uh, uh, um, storylines and segments from Bioware that did, was not in the final game. They put it back in, they put some HD texture in here. And just to update the game, give it like a widescreen mode, you know, upgrade the older HUD to the HD uh, uh, standards of today. You know, makes the game look a little bit more presentable. And I just love the visual style of it and the art looks awesome. Anyway, Juhani, that's the girl we rescued in my previous video on Dantooine. I feel I must apologize for the way I acted towards you before, in the Grove. It was wrong of me. You thought the dark side consumed you. It's nothing. I am sorry for attacking you. I am sorry for thinking you would only try to kill me. I hope that by helping you in your task, I may redeem myself in your eyes, and in my own. Don't worry, Johanny, I forgive you. Thank you. It is most reassuring to know that you can forgive me. Even though I try to take your life, I can only hope that in our time journeying together, I will succeed. Nice. And in this playthrough, for those of you who are joining me for the first time, I'm going to try to play the good side, right? I'm the good Jedi. I'm going to try to make all the good decisions and save everybody I can in the side missions. All right, next, let's talk to Bastila. Yeah. And this is basically the part of the game that's telling me Hey, here's the galaxy map, and from this point forward, I believe what's going to happen, you could choose any planet you want to do, like you, you pick your own order, it doesn't matter where you go next, so. Remember playing my uh, uh, first time this game back in 2003 on the Xbox, the first planet that I could go to, I remember picking the water world, Manan, so I think I might pursue that and do the same thing, because just for memory's sake, you know, hit nostalgia. Man, look at all these star maps. I love what the guys... And I believe, like, that's also pretty new. Like, you could see outside the windows. That was not in the original vanilla game. Let's see what Karth has to say. Yes, what's on your mind? You've been very quiet lately. You know that. Have I been quiet? I suppose I have. I guess I just don't like being left out of the loop. I'm not the one leaving you out of the loop, Karth. No? Well, you certainly aren't helping matters any either. And it's really starting to irritate me. For one thing, I want to know what the Jedi Council said to you. They pulled you in there and refused to tell me a thing about it. I'm rather curious to know what went on, and why they didn't keep you on Dantooine for training. Isn't that strange? That is strange. That's a valid question. They thought it was more important that I help find the star maps, then stay. And why is that? You were a great help on Terrace, but why would they keep you with us? Don't they Don't they have to train you? A lot of fans who are watching this game for the first time, right, you might have the same question. Why the heck did not she stay? She's like, I'm just a Padawan, right? I'm just learning, and yet they sent me on this grave mission. 
They said there was a bond between Basile and myself. A bond? What kind of bond? You mean to say that they told you that you were tied to Bastila in some way? <laughs> I have trouble believing that. You're a neophyte Padawan who's been saddled with the responsibility of tracking down these star maps. Why? That's not normal. I am not trying to provoke you or to imply that you're somehow responsible for the Jedi Council, but give me a hand here. There has to be a reason. Bastila and I have a bond. We have to do this together. That's all I'm going to say. And what does that mean? Well, is this more of that destiny garbage that the Jedi keep talking about? Well, that can't be it. Well, I'll tell you this much. I'm not going to wait around until I'm betrayed again. I'm not going to betray you. I'm not Saul. Yeah, we'll just see about that, won't we? Look, I didn't mean it that way. I want to get to Saul. Not... No, no, forget it. It just seems that all I can do is insult you, isn't it? Just forget I said anything. Let's let's just get on with what we were doing. Aw, Karth does not know how to express his emotions. Poor baby. Bastila. How can I help? I want to talk about that dream. It was less of a dream and more of a vision. A vision the two of us shared. But I am certainly willing to answer any questions the Jedi Council did not. I still want to understand why we shared that vision. Are you wondering why we shared the vision? Or why we even received it in the first place? To the first, I can only repeat the answer that the Council gave us. Our fates are linked. And for two as strong as we are in the Force, that amounts to a near physical bond. As to the second, I truly don't have an answer for you. The Force works as it will. And perhaps we should be grateful for what we've been given. Why did we dream of Malak and Reverend? Perhaps because we desired to. Perhaps because they came to this planet and were strong enough in the Force to leave a, a trace. What do you mean by trace? They did something important here. Of that, I am certain. It may be simply that we are sensitive to that event, or it may not. We dreamed about Revan and Malak either because we were meant to or because we needed to. There is no other way to look at it. Hmm. You think we'll receive more visions? With luck, we will. I would rather not rely on such visions to guide us. But when we have so little else to go on, and the galaxy hangs in the balance. What do you think Malak and Revan were doing? I have no idea. It was obviously important, however. That is why we must investigate this further. I don't think we asked enough. That's all I wanted to know. As you wish. We really should return our thoughts to business anyway. Okay, so guys, this is recently, you know, the new Star Wars canon revealed the dyads, right? It's not a new concept. It begins all here. Two Jedi sharing a very strong bond, right? It's almost like a physical connection. That's where it originates. And I guess as the storyline unfolds here, we'll discover more about this. Anyway, I think it's time for us to travel to our planet of choice, right? And that's what we're going to do. I think I'm going to go for Manon. Uh, so we have Kashyyyk, Yavin, Oribin, right? The Sith planet, Tatooine. And of course, we've been to Tatooine already. So let's do Manon. As you could see, the modders were also able to fully upgrade the cinematics to, like, I believe this is 2K or 4K, something like that. So it looks a lot nicer than, you know, your vanilla Steam version of the game. Uh huh, Malik's ship. Look how gangster he looks, man. Lord Malak, the Star Forge is operating at 200% capacity, far beyond our expectations. I am more interested in the young Jedi Bastila and her battle meditation. 
Have you learned how she escaped the destruction of Taris? She was aided by Karth Onasi, a decorated war hero of the Republic and a legendary soldier. During the Mandalore Wars, he was honored many times for his bravery. You know this man? Yes, Lord Malak. He served under me when I still followed the Republic. You could say I was his mentor. Interesting. How did you acquire this information, Admiral? An eyewitness, Lord Malak. Oh. Kalo Nord, a bounty hunter, was there when Bastila and Karth escaped the planet. Apparently, they left him for dead. A Jedi and a war hero. It's a wonder you survived the encounter. I am hard to kill, Lord Malak. Kalo has agreed to help us capture the young Bastila for a very hefty fee, of course. But I assure you, he is well worth the price. His reputation as a bounty hunter is well earned. Her companions are nothing to me, Kalo. But I desire the young Jedi taken alive, if at all possible. Lord Malak, forgive me, there is something else. May we have a private audience away from the ears of the common soldiers? I trust you are not wasting my time, Admiral Karath. I promise you will be very interested in what Kalo has to tell you about Bastila's other companions, Lord Malak. More visions? Ah, I think this is the location of the star map for the Star Forge in this particular planet in Manan. Okay, got it. Because it is a water planet. Okay. Definitely inspired by Camino, you could tell. When the prequels were coming out. And even when you look like an architecture design, it's like sees how this art style later is incorporated in the Mass Effect trilogy. Very similar stuff. The Force has given us a, a vision, like the one we shared on Dantuin. Did you see it? Of course. You must have. The Force is strong with us both. It is strange that anyone would have built a star map here. The entire surface of Manon is covered by nothing but vast oceans. It looks like the star map was underwater. The ocean floor is vast, and much of it is uncharted, even by the native Selkarth. But how could Revan and Malak have found their way down? No doubt things will become more clear once we discover the star map's location. Okay. I think on this adventure, I'm definitely going to take Johanny, my new Jedi recruit. So what I definitely want to do is beef up her lightsaber. Oh. I was checking our supplies in the cargo hold. Something's not right. Not right? What do you mean? Someone has been into the emergency stash of food. Mission and I asked everyone, but nobody knows anything about it. I remember these guys. This little side mission rings the bell. Check out the food stores next time you're in the cargo hold. Yeah. I remember this. I don't know. I'm not going to do this right now. This is like one of the side missions. Let me just go do my thing. Right? I want to start exploring the on. Okay. We'll quickly beef up the lightsaber. This is Johanny's lightsaber, I presume. This is my dope blue lightsaber. I went with the classic color, right? All right, let's do this, guys. I'm gonna take Johanny with us. Definitely gonna take Mission. She's good at hacking everything. She's my basically essential character for this playthrough. And Johanny. Oh. 
Nice. Okay, Juhani just leveled up. Yes. So what I'm gonna do, guys, is level her up. I'm just gonna cut that part real quick. You don't need to see that. All right, guys, I leveled up Juhani. Let's set off on our exploration of Monan. Just look at the like fantastic job that the modders have created. Like the clouds, the the floor, like every single texture in the game, right? Most of it really makes the game look sharp. Like it looks better than a lot of like today's current generation indie games, right? That are being developed. I guess it's all in the artwork. Let's get into it. You Republic people are so pathetic, sitting around groveling at the table scraps the Galactic Senators deign to give you. It makes me sick. The Senators work for the good of the whole galaxy, not for individual gain. Ha! Don't make me laugh, you gutless simp. It's the destiny of weak-minded fools like you to be ruled over by the strong, like we Sith. I'm warning you. Don't push me or you'll get just what you're asking for. Try it. Just try it. I'd love to see you throw the first punch. And with all the cameras around, the Cellcath would be all over you inside of 30 seconds. You break their laws. You pay the price, Republic scum. But I can see that you're not man enough to back up your words anyway. If you ever feel like relieving yourself of your worthless existence, feel free to come by our enclave here. We have many many ways to fulfill your wish okay <sighs> yeah what are you oh i apologize master jedi i should not have been rude why do the sith upset you so much well, these damn Sith are everywhere on Manan, pushing us Republic citizens around, trying to goad us into breaking the law somewhere. Why don't you run them off Manan? Yeah, there's nothing we can do, though. The Selkath want to maintain their neutrality, and they enforce it very strictly. So, we just have to sit here and let the Sith insult us, and we can't raise a hand against them. Otherwise, the Republic will face severe Colto export restrictions, and that could lose us the war altogether. What is Colto? <laughs> You're joking, right? I'm sorry, but everyone knows what Colto is. It's the most powerful healing agent in the galaxy. I would have died several times myself if we didn't have this stuff handy. But the reason it's important here is that Colto is only found naturally on Manan, and all of our attempts to synthesize it have failed miserably. So, we sit here on the surface, the Selkath harvesting what Colto bubbles up from the bottom of the ocean, and we buy it from them. Well, us and the Sith, of course. The Selkath don't want to play favorites. The Republic and the Sith both stay here, right? The Selkath think that by staying neutral, they can play both sides, selling Colto to everyone that needs it, and making themselves too valuable to be worth conquering. Well, that, and they threaten to destroy the only natural source of Colto on the planet if anyone tries to attack them. But I think they're underestimating the length the Sith will go to to get what they want. They're probably planning something already. Is there anything else you require? Have you seen an ancient star map? A star map? Like an ancient artifact or something? No, I'm, I'm sorry, I've never heard of it. Is there anything else I can do for you? Never mind, I must go. Well, tell me about Ato City. Um, it's big. Real big. Actually, it's pretty much the only real city on the entire world. The only place for us air breathers, anyway. Manan is a water world which you may have noticed on your way down to land here, inhabited natively by a species of fish people called the Selkath. They built this city to cater to us off-worlders and as a base of operations to export Colto, which is the only real thing they have to trade here. Why haven't they joined the Republic? The Selkath think that by staying neutral, they can play both sides, selling Colto to everyone that needs it and making themselves too valuable to be worth conquering. Well, that, and they threaten to destroy the only natural source of Colto on the planet if anyone tries to attack them. But I think they're underestimating the length the Sith will go to to get what they want. They're probably planning something already. Is there anything else you require? Okay, never mind, let's go. Of course. If you have any other questions, you should probably see Roland Wan. He's the Republic diplomat here. He's by the Republic Enclave, near the Visitor Residences. Oh, if you don't know where that is, go north from here, then south past the Port Official in the first courtyard, east into the second courtyard, then north, then east again. 
You got that? Have a pleasant stay, Master Jedi. Okay. So far, so good. Juhani wants to talk. How may I be of assistance to you, Padawan? I was wondering if we could talk. What is it you would like to speak to me about? How did you come to be a Jedi? How I came to be a Jedi? I am sure you would not find it very interesting. Are you sure you would like to hear? Yes, please continue. Well, it goes back a number of years. Back on my home world, we did not see Jedi very often, especially where I lived. What is the Cathar homeworld like? It was not the homeworld of the Cathar that I lived on. My parents had long fled from that place, and perhaps that is a story for another time. Rather, it was a human hive world that I was raised on, the hind end of space. A pit of a world, to be sure, where Jedi rarely tread, but we had heard of them. Well, everyone had, so that is not to be unexpected. Champions of truth, defenders of justice, heroes of the Republic. It was very easy for a child to be enthralled by their image, their mystique. Maybe I was one of those children. And how did you gain entrance to the Order? When I saw a Jedi for the first time, they lived up to everything my imagination had created them to be. I was old and maybe a little enamored. Enamored? They were quite striking, especially the tales of their leader. From that moment on, I knew that I would have to try to become a Jedi. To lift myself out of the rut I had been living in for years, and to make a real difference as the Jedi were. <laughs> the foolish delusions of a child, but this child made it happen. As soon as I was able, I left my world and went in search of them. I found them and was accepted. I had been living my dream on Dantooine for several years before you came, although perhaps I was not entirely ready for it, or not completely suited to the task. Otherwise, I would not have fallen. But thanks to you, I have been redeemed. Perhaps I may yet live to see that dream of mine come true. Come, there is much we should do. Let us not waste time talking. Action is what is needed. Okay, fully agree. Action is what is needed. Okay, this looks like a dead end. So far, so good. Now, this planet, I don't remember that much about, so it's going to be all new to me, guys, just like yourselves. Maybe I'll recall a couple of things. Okay, he's welcoming to Auto City. He's selling treats, okay. Foods and provisions. Yeah, I definitely need to stock up on my med kits. Alright, let's start shopping. Okay. Let me see your inventory. All right, we're ready to continue. I stacked up on those advanced medicates. So I don't get easily overpowered.
What's up, dude? Greetings. Forgive me if this seems an odd question of world, but might you have an exotic species for sale? Nothing dangerous, mind you. Wants an exotic species. What sort? Anything non sentient and non carnivorous will do. Creatures that are easy to manage and pro are preferred. Is that understandable? Why would you want to buy animals? Good question. Okay. So we have, they have little exposure to other species. And they want to introduce more animals into the planet. Okay. I guess. Sounds like a side mission. So you want to smuggle them in. Okay, he wants to engage in a private trade, which is allowed by their laws. She's desperate to get one. No, I don't have anything like that. If you do come across something potentially interesting, please bring it here. Okay. Nubasa. It didn't mark off on my uh, mission log. Okay, maybe it's going to be a mission later on. Who is this? Dead-Eye Duncan. Hey, stranger. Mysterious stranger. Wow, look at you. A Jedi. <laughs> no wonder I could never beat you. It's me, Duncan. Dead-Eye Duncan. From the dueling arena on Terrace. Remember? Now I remember. I did you escape Terrace? Oh, there was a handful of us who made it out. The lucky ones. I survived by breaking into the military base, overpowering a dozen Sith soldiers, and stealing one of their own ships. You overpowered a dozen Sith? Well, when the bombing started, the Sith sent down a bunch of autopiloted ships to evacuate soldiers from the planet. I saw one and I figured it was a rescue ship, so I ran up to it. A Sith patrol was approaching from the other side, getting ready to board. When they saw me, they all pulled their blasters. But it takes more than a dozen armed Sith soldiers to slow me down. You are pretty easy to slow down inside the dueling ring. Well, to tell the truth, they didn't actually take the Sith out. A building fell on them. A chunk of building, actually, from the bombing. Crushed the whole bunch of them. <laughs> Very messy. So there I was, all alone and standing by this empty evacuation ship. I climbed on board, overrode the autopilot controls, and lifted off into orbit. The ship had all the Sith launch codes programmed in, so I didn't have to worry about being blasted from the sky. I just played it cool and tried to fly casual. In the confusion of the bombing, nobody paid any attention to my one little ship slipping away from the fleet. Once I was out of scanner range, I knew I was home free. So what are you doing here? I've decided to become a mercenary. Came here looking for work. I heard the Republic was hiring, but they weren't interested in me. Guess I made a mistake by telling him who I was. They'd heard of me. Seems like everybody's heard of me. The legend of Deadeye Duncan, the worst duelist of all time, spread far and wide across the galaxy. Makes it hard to earn a living, you know? Why is the Republic hiring mercenaries? I have no idea. All I know is that if I don't find some way to shake my reputation soon, I'm gonna have to find another line of work. It's too bad. Hey, wait a minute. You're a Jedi now, so you probably won't be doing much doing anymore, right? So the name Mysterious Stranger probably won't be much use to you anymore, right? So, uh, can I have it? I mean, if everyone's heard of Dead Eye Duncan, then they probably heard of the Mysterious Stranger, but nobody knows anything about you except the name. You could be anybody. Man, woman, me. Hmm. You want to tell them you're a champion? If I say I'm the mysterious stranger, who's going to know? There will be celebrity tours, maybe some endorsements. I could milk this thing for months. Well, right up until people see me fight. What do you say? Fame? Celebrity? You don't need that. You're a Jedi. 
but I'm just a guy trying to earn a living. Come on, give me a break. Why do I have a feeling this is gonna like not turn well for him? I guess okay, let's see what happens. The name is yours. Really? You mean it? Oh, this is great. <laughs> No more jokes, no more snickering. When I tell people I'm the mysterious stranger, they'll finally treat me with respect. Thanks a lot, stranger. Oops, <laughs> guess I shouldn't call you that now. People will think I'm talking to myself. <laughs> anyway, I should be going. I'm heading off planet to look for work. Shouldn't be too hard now that I'm the Terrace Duel Champion. It's good seeing you again, and thanks. I have a strong, strong feeling he's gonna pay for that. If they go after me, right, then they, they start name searching. He's going to get in the world of pain. Okay, let's see where. Western Central. It's a Sith hangar. Definitely don't need to go there. Even Hawk. Private hangar. Let's see what's up with that private hangar, but I don't think they'll let us in. I'm gonna go to a different part of the city. There's a lot of areas here. The game definitely feels a bit larger. You know, I was when I started installing this game, I'd say, you know what, let me replay this for my channel. For some reason I was not the impression it's gonna feel a lot smaller. You know, it's a game from 2003. There's actually quite a lot of areas. <laughs> Okay. I'm gonna save just in case. I don't know what, what's in there. Oh, all right. I can't go in there. All right. We were just trying to see if there's other areas I could explore. Once again, guys, I'm gonna try to walk around, if like talk to NPCs. If there's a, I see a side mission I could take, I'll try to go for it. You know, stuff like that. Just leisurely play this game, enjoy it, remind myself of the storyline and lore. Oh man, this looks really nice. Really nice. I mean, like the art, right? Look at it. It definitely gives you a sense of place, right? There's like an exotic planet. Who is this guy? Enough time to listen to your stories. I've got a full shipment of Kalto ready to load before my shift is over. Yeah. Obviously, Kalto is. What Bacta is in the Star Wars that we know more recent to the, you know, to the original trilogy and prequels. Enough time to listen to your stories. I've got a full shipment of Kalto ready to load before my shift is over. Oh, I guess they're twins. One is Twilight, one is uh, human. Says they both say the same thing. I guess this is not where we go. Wait, where do we go? Oh, Central Courtyard. Let's see what happens. Pretty sure there are going to be a few encounters with the Sith. One thing I do remember is that at some point, obviously, to get to the star map, we're going to go into this underwater facility. And there's going to be a segment there, something similar to Mass Effect, where I, there's some sort of vehicle, if I recall correctly. What do you want? Who are you? Jolin. Oh, he's a Pazak player. Right no, I'm not playing Pazak. Are you interested in the game? Nope. Not right now. Not interested. That's one game I wasn't crazy about. One card game that I really, really enjoyed was from Final Fantasy VIII. And then the Final Fantasy IX had introduced a somewhat simpler version of it. Those were mini games to live for. The music is very soothing and calm. Port officer. Welcome to Manon. While you're here, I trust you'll follow all the rules of governing the activities of, of warlords. Don't ask me to submit my lightsaber, because it ain't gonna happen. Don't worry, I'll follow the rules. I have to pay a docking fee of 100 credits each time I land. Let me try to persuade. Let me try to persuade him and make it 50. 
Damn it. He can't haggle. Yeah, I guess my character build is not the one that's gonna be very persuasive. Because I'm focusing on, like, lightsaber techniques. Alright. Get my money. That's a ripoff, dude. Alright. And he's giving me the map of the city. Alright, if I leave the planet, I'm gonna have to pay the docking fee, which I'm, I'm not planning to do. That's a steep price to stay on the planet. Guys. Mass Effect? And with those little, uh, what are they called? Those little droids on Citadel? Oh my god, it's escaping me right now. This actually kind of sort of looks like Citadel from Mass Effect, right? The skybox, you see the skyline there. This shows you the influence and progression of Bioware, you know, how they like continued evolving their game. All right, where do we go from here? Didn't he say he's gonna give us the map? It's such a ripoff. They did tell us to go to the eastern side, right? I remember that. Who's this guy? A friend of mine recently got into Pizak. You know, the card game. Now he can't stop. It's so addictive. Looks like water textures have been reworked too. It looks pretty clean. Nice. Alright, sorry. Private conversation. I hope you find what you're looking for here in Manon. Oh, he's nice. Yeah, like these Selka creatures seem to be very benevolent, right? What is this? Oh. Dead end. East Central Courtyard. Definitely nice to have a uh, solid state drive, so the game loads pretty fast. Um, I'm just enjoying the scenery over here. Your precious Republic's days are numbered. It won't be long until Malak turns his armada loose on Coruscant itself. Save your empty threats, Sith scum. Malak isn't stupid enough to attack the core worlds. Now with the entire Republic fleet waiting for him. You're a fool. When the Sith descend on Coruscant, our numbers will block out the sun itself. The galactic senators will collapse trembling in fear and beg for mercy at Malak's feet. You underestimate the Republic's resolve. We'll die before we surrender Coruscant. That can be arranged. Remember what happened to Taris. Malak could do the same to the core worlds. He wouldn't dare. Now it is you underestimate our resolve yeah they're still beefing of course the republic and the sith i really dig that uh sith chrome armor right it looks like they beefed up the textures those reflections really look sharp oh there's a general store how much for all this stuff tybark a Republic guy. Thanks, Tabark. Catch you next week. I guess this guy's a somebody here, right? Let's talk to him. I always shop here. Tabark's prices are the best in the city. Well, maybe he's not. Let's see what he has. He doesn't want to serve Sith, but he will help me out. Alright, let me see your wares. Yeah, I just bought a pistol, which I think Mission Val will benefit from. Let's see, try to equip it. Nice. What? Let's keep going. What's this? Another Republic lackey 
you wandering the streets? Don't worry, the Sith will destroy you along with all the rest who don't bow down before Malak. I have no wish to trade childish taunts and empty words with you. I have nothing more to say to you. I have important Sith business to attend to. I'm sure. You Republic sicken me. We'll do the galaxy a favor by wiping you out. Malak will show you Republics how a war is really waged. I'm sure he will. Okay, I don't have the time to converse. Yeah, that's cool. I'm not offended. Those Sith are always trying to goad us. Why don't the Selkath stop them? I have to stop talking to Sith. They make me want to break so many laws just to pound the smirk off their faces. If it wasn't for those damn Selkath neutrality laws, I'd teach that Sith a thing or two. You have to learn to control your anger. Anger leads to the dark side. Anakin. Uh, I suppose you're right. You probably know best. You are a Jedi, after all. I guess getting mad doesn't help any. Well, as long as the Sith stay out of my way, I'll stay out of theirs. That's fair enough. He doesn't think he's that different. Let me see if he can provide me answers. Right now I'm looking for some information, right? What are you talking about? What answers? Sith and Republic battling for control of the galaxy. He's telling me of current state of things. He came to seek answers. Answers to what? The Republic, the Sith, the war, everything. Alright, it just sounds like a waste of time. Looks like a space pilgrim flying around. Who are you? Ulas. From Duro. And what is your name, human? I'm not giving you my name. My name is none of your business. What is it you want with me? I don't think he's gonna give us answers. I want to ask you some questions. I will do my best to answer. He's either a bounty hunter or some shady character. I don't trust him. I don't trust Rodians in general. Do you know anything about the Sith here on Manan? Where's the two of the Empire's building? The Sith conquer worlds. They came to Manan to plunder the valuable resource culture. He's not telling us anything we don't already know. Alright, it's time to say goodbye. I thought he was going to be some kind of information broker. He's like a historian giving me the whole breakdown of the Republic and the Sith. Alright, dude, I got it. I'll be going now. What a waste of time. Shady Rodian. 
Why do you bother me, human? I do not wish to speak to you. Dudes, I just need, like, directions. Why are you just standing in the corner? Do business or leave. Okay, he probably he will become in handy later on. What kind of business? Pazak cards are oh, another Pazak addict. See you later. I just don't hope there is like some kind of progression mission that involves Pazak playing because I'll be stuck for a minute. It did say we have to go somewhere near the human embassies, right? East quarter. Yes, it's like no recollection of this place. I'm just gonna have to do it by hard old exploration. Hey, this street is for Sith only. You gotta pay a 20 credit toll to walk down this street. This is a public street. Hiding behind the Selkath laws. Typical Republic cowardice. Yeah, it's not gonna work. Sorry. Try to intimidate me. But I gotta play it cool. Back off, Republic dog. You couldn't hope to compare to a real woman. Back off, Republic dog. You couldn't hope to compare to a real woman. Mm-hmm. And yeah, you're like droning each other's words. Okay. Whatever you say. The fighting between the Republic and the Sith is spreading farther. I wonder how long before Manan becomes a battleground. What is here? Emporium. You got any armor plating for my swoop bike? Swoop bike? Is swoop I racing on this planet? Is free. You actually sell this junk. You fish are a strange breed. He's pissed off at that, sir. Don't worry, junk man. When I want garbage, I'll be back. I'm pissed. Is there swoop races on this planet? I'm forgetting. Do I want to buy something? Not here to make any fun of you. I'm uh, Marion Windrider. Right, he's going off. He's telling us how the Sith are just making too much trouble for him. Oh, he's willing to give a hand, okay. I'd like to ask some questions. I don't know. Can you tell me something about that Star Forge? Oh, 
Damn, he's taking so long. It's gotta be in the story and thing. It's just like yapping on. I'm looking for some ancient ruins or possibly some type of star map. I know of no such thing as Ato City. This is the only city in Manan suited for non Selka. The oceans are the ancestral home of their people. If there are any ancient ruins in their culture, they would lie there. Yep. Let's keep going. Let's keep rolling. We won't find our answers here. Move about your business, human. Uh, not here. No, definitely not in the Sith camp, facility, building, whatever that is. We might have a position within the Sith organization for one such as you. Your offer is pretty good, but I've heard some nasty things about you, Sith. Is it true you bombed Terrace into dust? This is war. In war, certain distasteful acts cannot be avoided. But ask yourself this, when we win this war, would you rather be against the Sith or with us? You make a good point. And I've never turned down a job that pays up front. Excellent. Report to the Sith Embassy tomorrow for your assignment. Okay, this gives me a hint. Maybe if I pose as America wants to work with the Sith, that could do it. Get me inside. Sorry, but you're too late to recruit me. I've just hired on with the Sith. Of course, if the Republic has a better offer. Can I ask a few questions? I don't have time to sit here and answer your questions. I have to get ready. The Sith want me to report to their embassy first thing tomorrow. Dude. Sorry, but you're too late to recruit me. I've just hired on with the Sith. Of course, if the Republic has a better offer. You work for the Sith? They're evil. Where are you going? I'm trying to talk to you. Hey, keep your lectures. The Sith pay well, and they pay up front. That's all I care about. The dude didn't even, even let me finish my questions. He's like, nah, I'm walking. I have no desire to speak to you. I know you have links to the Republic. All right, so she will be probably instrumental in my further search. Guys, I think this will be a good pause here fun exploring Manon, right there's a mystery to it it looks like we have to go dive deep underwater to find some kind of ancient ruins to our uh, uh star map to the star forge super excited um all of those planets that were on the uh, ebon hawk star map like kashik uh Tatooine, i'm definitely looking forward to exploring those all but i definitely want to spend my time here and fulfill as many side missions as possible anyway as always Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please consider supporting me. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell button so you don't uh, miss the future playthrough. After this game, I'm going to go to part two, Knights of the Old Republic. The second game, and I'm, after that, I'm going to start doing the Old Republic MMO, which I can't wait to get into. Take care, guys, and I will see you next time.